Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm just gonna just bear with me. I'm gonna put the heat on. Oh, I hope it's not making too much noise. <coughs> it's early morning. I have done some work on the on the journal and uh, came out totally different. The hands wanted to do something different, do it go a different way. And it's always like that, isn't it? You have something on your mind, you know what you'd like to do, and you've seen something maybe on Pinterest or YouTube, but you know, that just goes straight out the window. So um, I've decided not to make it too hard for myself and just let my hands do the creating. So what I've actually done is, I've actually used my um, appliques here and cut them up and I'm going to use them a bit of a dimension on the journal and I'm really excited because I figured out what I'm going to do in in the middle here and how I'm going to do it so I've left one so that you could see what I've done with it because I've made put quite a few layers on this and um, I'll just get a brush I've washed my brush washed my brushes every time I've used them and last night I, it was pretty late and um, I forgot one brush and it happened to be one of my best brushes. Oh no, that's not Jessa. And um, so I had a good time trying to clean that this morning. It's early morning. I got up about quarter past four, I think it was. I heard some roosters crowing. I said, oh, it must be time to get up. So off in the kitchen I went and um, put the jug on, you know, go to the bathroom, do all the things. The dog follows me. She knows it's awesome. Um, Mum's going to um, give me my, her, my, my biscuit. So I made my cup of coffee, sat down, checked my phone. <laughs> and those roosters down the road, they got their times mixed up. Unbelievable. But anyway, so here I am. So I'll be able to watch the sunrise again if we have it because I heard a few drops of rain. Now I'm putting gesso on this because it is like a primer thing and and you know like that's all I've got left now. So it's not much. I have to get another tub. But I do I know you can make it yourself and I have the ingredients. So I'm gonna try it um, making it myself and just use the tub um, in there it's with baby powder and whatever so yes yeah, so I've done that on here now and just to prime it okay and look I don't have a heat tool I'm using my dryer so if you don't like the noise just turn it down. it doesn't need much okay and um, I better just bear with me I'm going to clean this we'll put under water okay so you're my witness I've cleaned my brush all right so now I'm using um, some paint and I've had this tube of acrylic paint burnt umber okay so and I'm going to use a different brush for that one and that's just basically to cover it again I really enjoyed making this part because you know you can and look and if it doesn't work I've had a, the ideas that I've had just weren't happening so I'm thinking well maybe I'm forcing myself too much okay so I thought no I'll just go with the flow and most of the time that's how our creations um, come about don't they just want to get rid of this gold 
but I just wanted the metallic but you can still see the texture of it and I'll quickly go and get rid of this I should have a I might just fill my jar up okay with water because you don't want to be seeing me going out and about every time I um, got to clean a brush okay that's done all right so hair dryer It's Sunday, early Sunday morning here in Australia for any of my um, American crafters that might be watching this. Now, what are, oh yes, and then I used um, a little bit of this berry. And these are the colours that I still have from when I um, did my steampunk. And I really like this colour because when we, my friend and I were talking about fabrics, she said she doesn't mind a bit of pink. Well, that's got a little bit of pink in it. And that's what you see in here, of course. Um, not just all purple and lilac. So let's just see. I'm going to take this. And of course, you know, it's going to get covered up. Um, some of this colour anyway, but it's part of, part of the texture, isn't it? Now, I'll just use this brush thing. I've been a good girl and cleaned it. Just like that color and it comes out really nice when you do um, steampunk I find and the same with this color even though it looks silver but it's like a teal color and I'm not sure if she likes teal but I'm just I'll sort of stay with the colors that we sort of worked on but I just want that to sort of come through just a little bit Gotta make sure I've got it on the end here. Okay, that'll just go in my jar now and I'll give it a quick. Okay, now hair dry. dry up my little bit of paint that I've got there and then I'm going to go over with my purple because it's got the PVA glue remember um, I've got to find my little so what did I do oh here it is And you know, when I was looking through my cupboard, that has all my paints and, well, my little bit of paints, but I've got food colouring and um, colours in a spray bottle. It ha I have purple in there. I'm thinking, well, you know, like, I could have used that. Too late. Not sure what sort of a day we're going to have here today. They did forecast rain, but who knows? I'll just leave that in the paint pot, I think. Okay, here we go again. Hair dry.
bit more of this here. Just go over it. So this is pretty well sealed. Quite a few layers on this. Just not much, not much. So I've been experimenting with all this. I mean, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's just the way it is, isn't it? Sorry if I'm not talking too much, I'm just concentrating a little bit. Hope this doesn't dry out too much. take this because I forgot to wipe it off yesterday and I've um, used these I try to use these um, wipes again this is a dry one because you've got you don't want that on there um, you can use these for um, you know, for our next project, for a collage or something. Okay. You know, once this journal is done, and like the front is, the cover is done, and I can always go back and just do stuff to it. And then what I've done is, because I wanted to highlight these areas, I used my Tim Hulse really, really, really tattered this and just go over the top of it like I did with these, just so that that brown comes through. Okay, and that's it. So if it's too much purple, well then I'll just do another layer like this here oh, i just like how it looks see this has got too too much maybe i'm not sure i'll, I'll have to wait and see because <coughs> when it's all done and dried i might just go over it with one coat of this just so it's evenness or i might just do some um gold paint or something <coughs> excuse me i'm not sure but i just wanted to get these in now, the most exciting part is um, I was trying to work out how I'm going to put those crystals in. I was going to cover them um, 
but then I thought, well, maybe she would like to be able to touch them when she's, you know, um, meditating. She'll probably have her own crystals in her hand. But if it's a, it's, I'd like it to be like a touchy-feely journal. So, a long time ago, oh, these are the two frames that I had, but I've actually put a piece of um, cardboard to make it thicker. And a long time ago, I got this out of an op shop. It was a cover of a book, and it had a shadow box on the front of it, and it was a door. <laughs> So if you're watching, my friend, um, <laughs> this is going to be on the front. And the crystals will sit in here glued, of course, um, with a background, uh, probably like a tissue, crinkled up tissue paper. I've got some pretty tissue paper which picks up these colours. And they're going to be set in there so that when you are using the journal, you can actually touch them. It's, they're real. They're not covered up. They're not, you know. And then this will get locked, and then you can still use the journal without, you know, damaging anything. So I've prepped this, and this was already on there. This was already on there. So I only had this single piece of the door, and I've made those two frames that you felt that I showed you in the last couple of videos, but it wasn't high enough. It wasn't high enough. So I actually, I better put that in my water. Um, it wasn't high enough. I better close that and um, so I used a thick piece of cardboard uh, which is right here I just chopped up a thick cardboard yeah nice and thick that is and glued that on top and that was just the right height because one of the crystals um, is quite thick which is this one okay and the door will still close. Okay, now it's going to have a latch. I'll probably have to do it that way. Yeah. So it will still close. That was the thickest piece. And the tissue, or even maybe um, burlap or hessian, you know, something natural or something. Um, but I'll see how it goes. So, yes. And of course, you'll be saying, well, what about a lock? Now, where do I put all that stuff? I did have it here, my little lock, my little bag. Oh, you know when you put things away. Oh, I just had it here. It's probably flown away, has it? Just bear with me. It's in a little plastic bag. No, nope. and, oh. oh, here it is. I got this from, it was in the um, free junk box at an op shop and it was a little Barbie doll suitcase, that screws back in there, and um, I like to use, get them because it was free and I took the hinges off and the lock and look at this lock, it will just fit perfectly on here, I've already put some screws in, they're not the right screws. Because the, the real screws are that tiny, it's not going to hold. So Habby had four screws left, believe it or not. So what's going to happen is it's going to go in here like this. No, like this. Okay. It's going to be on here. But just pretend. And then that will just lock like that. We'll just close that door so that when she uses the journal, it's not going to open up and damage anything so that's what I found I mean how cool is that can you you know like oh that was that was a fluke that and I come across that when I was rummaging through my drawer because I knew I had it and I couldn't find it well I found it so it will now have a little closure as well now I primed it and I put some brown paint on it but I'm not too keen on it um, I'll probably, yeah, I just, it's an undercoat, so it'll, it'll, it'll peek through. And I've used some tulle, okay, because I like the texture on it, um, on here. That's on here, on this journal here. So, 
and I would like to put um, some of these natural fire, these natural wood pieces on here. This was already on here. I didn't put that on there, and you know, really glue that because it's part of the, <coughs> and it's like a. So I might just have to change the colour of this because this is just too much of this, or I might put more brown in between here. I'm not sure how I'm going to go, but that's my idea of using these not much I don't want to put too much in it because if this journal is used all the time I don't want to have all these bits flaking off so I have to make really sure that they're really glued down you know but I think it just looks gorgeous and then I'm just going to make a nameplate for her on the front here I thought I had I could use a normal metal one but it's too big because it interfered with the lock so I'm just going to make one and just write her name on a little piece of linen cloth but isn't this cool and that'll get decorated maybe a little inspirational poem I might see uh, she might have one and it'll just go into here so yeah so how cool is that so I'm taking a fair bit of time on the cover because I think the cover on this is going to be, um, you know, the main the main part of it. Um, everything else is going to be pretty easy. And the closure for the journal will go under here. And then it'll have an eyelet on this part to tie it with. So um, it'll either be a piece of linen or part of a belt. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, so that's what how it's going to look. So disregard the colour because it's you know it's not there. Um, but oh, what a cool idea, cool, cool, cool. Bit excited. So I'll be working on this today probably. Um, I mean I can't show you every step because then I'd have to go on live and I'd be have the video going all day. But I'll show you, you know, parts of it um, so that you get the gist of um, how I've put it together. So, yeah, so um, let me know of your thoughts. It's getting there. I'm changing my mind all the time. But I think it's just how, you know, how it, how it all comes together. And But the main part is just the crystals in here. I was, yeah, I was absolutely stoked. Um you know and then have them protect it because you've got a little lock there and then when you're using it you know it's not going to flip open I'm um, to I'm going to reinforce the spine still as well um, and then I'll put the backings on but the backing I was thinking of actually um, instead of putting a belly band on there I might even just leave the top or even the side open where she can slide notes in if she wishes to okay so not sure yet and then the, on the other side it'll have like a um, scrappy note pads that you can take put add pages to it so that's what it is so I'm stoked it's gonna look good at the moment it doesn't look like much but it's getting there so let me know of your process or just give me a thumbs up and um, either way I'll be working on it today and then I might do a, a quick video today as well just a, a share of what's going to happen with my Etsy store as well and um, any journals that I'll be making and how I'm going to showcase them so that'll be probably be my next video so stay tuned for that one and uh, yeah, and just happy crafting. If it's a Sunday morning or a Sunday, you're not... It's Mother's Day, isn't it? That's right. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Um, I've just picked a big bunch of um, chrysanthemums the other day and uh, for inside to remember my mum and my husband's mum. So happy Mother's Day, everyone. Bye for now.